getting there How cool are these? On the go, cereal cups for $7. Add your desired amount of cereal to the inner cup and snap on the top cap. Then the milk and then you pour it out into a bowl. How cool is that? For anyone who works early shifts and needs to bring their own breakfast with them, this is ideal. Okay, I'm home. So let me show you what made it home with me. The first thing you know is that my cats love this wave scratcher. I think it's down to $6 or something like that. So I generally buy them one every couple of months or whenever it is that they've basically ruined it, um, I get to replace it. So today was the day. Yep, that's it. It's the cat scratching wave. And this is what I got first for them. The next thing that I bought is the large drawer organizer. This is five and a half centimeters high, 27, 20 centimeters wide, and 30 centimeters deep. So about the size of a, a ruler. And I'm planning on decluttering or resetting my makeup drawers. At the moment, I've got two drawers on my desk that I use for my makeup. And I find that really annoying every morning when I have some things on a top drawer and some things in the middle drawer. And generally, it's... I start with the top drawer and then I move to the second drawer and then I've got to go back up to the first drawer. So I'm going to be trying to do a bit of a declutter and reassemble and reconfiguration of what I have there. And I thought that this would come in handy. It's a drawer divider, but it's got the insert. So you can actually make it three, one, two, three, four compartments in it. So I thought that it would come in handy for pencils, for compacts, for uh, foundations and also for powders etc so watch out for that video it will be coming up sometime soon I don't know about you but being a size 14 and having strong legs I find that in the summertime when I wear a dress when my when it gets hot my legs chafe and I saw that came out had these smoothing anti-chafe shorts they're lightweight comfort it's a pack of two for 14 dollars and I bought them a size 14 lady at the counter said uh, make sure that um, they're the right size because they don't exchange these so that's fine it was 14 and I ended up checking also that the inside did say 14 because sometimes you know it's happened to me that I've bought something that says 14 on the outside and then it's 12 on the inside or 16 or 18 and it's annoying so I think that these will come in handy and hopefully they don't rise up. I did buy a pair of bonds last year or the year before from Big W and I find that they tend to roll up around the legs. Uh, but these have a good 
stretch, a good amount of stretch on them that it will stop them rising. Fingers crossed. I'll try one later and I'll add it in down here so that um, you can get understanding what they're like. And then I couldn't resist. I had to buy this Everlast sweater. I was standing deciding whether I should get in a size 16 or a size 14, but it is oversized. So I ended up getting in a size 14 and I think this is the perfect size. It's not too oversized. It's sort of overpowering on my frame, but it is that lovely slouchiness that makes you feel really cozy and toasty in it. And it is really cuddly on the inside. And I love the two colors. It's got this um, gray charcoal color with white piping and then beige, which I'm going through a beige phase, what can I say? And I like the back because it had all the different logos of the Everlast, I guess, over time. And then uh, just a simple Everlast logo at the front here which I thought is really cute. So I got that. And then two things. I'll leave the expensive juice for last. The next thing that I bought are, or is, this hold up, hold all up, do clip. You know the little uh, butterfly clips? I think they're called, no, the little clips that you wear in your hair to hold your hair up like that. Now they've got the big one that basically goes at the back and holds your whole, whole, whole your whole hair up. Now, I don't have a lot of hair, so I think this will work for me because I find that if I wear a claw, claw clip, I find that when I'm driving, I hate the feeling of it behind me and it does make my hair feel heavy at the back and give me a headache. So I'm hoping that this one, because it's more flat, more slim light, it won't do that. It will have my hair sitting flat against my back so that when I'm driving also, it doesn't get annoying. Now, the Duke. If you're into luxury brands, but your budget doesn't quite stretch there, then you're going to want to get yourself to Kmart or go online and go shopping because there is a dupe for the Von Cliff earrings. Have a look at this. These ones here. I thought these are really cute. If you can't, if your budget doesn't quite stretch there, or if you don't want to spend the money to buy the, the legit original ones, then you can definitely have a bit of fun buying the dupes from Kmart. And then what I want, what I actually, the reason why I actually went to Kmart was that I have a brother shower to go to this Saturday and I was going to buy the dish set, the Maison white dish set, uh, dinner, pl dinner plates, dinner set that I have that I absolutely love and that I feel like the bride, the future bride will also love. But with the change that Kmart has put in place where you can't do an exchange or a refund unless you've got the original receipt and the original card that it was paid on, it just makes it really hard to be able to buy a gift. I did ask someone at the counter saying, look, if I buy this dinner set, tap, 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 it's Coco walking around. If I buy this dinner set, a will she, and I give her the receipt, will she be able to come back and just swap it out for something else? It's not quite the style that she likes. And she said, no, without the card, she won't be able to do that. And Okay, I could have paid cash, but I don't carry cash around with me. So I would have had to go to an ATM, get the cash out, and then buy it. Then get it. it just sounded too hard. So what I decided to do instead, which I think might work um, for this instance, is I did end up buying a kitchen tea card. And what I'm planning on doing is I bought a Kmart gift card for the exact value of the dinner set that I was going to buy. And I'm going to put the gift card with a picture of the Maison dinner set that I would have bought and in the card say, this is my virtual gift to you. I think you'll like it or words to that effect. But in case you don't, here's the card and you can go and buy that set or buy something else that you like instead. So I'm hoping that she will see the spirit that it's given in. I didn't want to buy her something that she wasn't going to like. I know when I got married, I got given a whole heap of dinner sets that were just not my style. And with Kmart not being able to do exchanges anymore without the original card or the original method of payment, I thought that this would sort of circumvent that for me and give her an opportunity of buying the gift that I wanted to buy her or buy something else instead. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope wherever you are, you're having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.